All right, I just want to finish up a few things about multiple choice question. We've coded most of it in the previous video. We made an array list of choices, and we made a new display method, and then we made a, a one that allows them to add multiple choice answers. So um, let's see. So the first thing was back in quiz, I copy and pasted this code that basically displayed the question, scanned their answer, checked it, and gave them feedback. Okay, so this code here for question one and question two is exactly the same. I had a teacher in college, my favorite professor named Nick McPhee, and he always said if you're copying and paste code, he called that a bad smell, like something's not right. And, and his thought was that, you know, if, if you're copying, doing the same code over and over, um, you should make a method, right? One, it cuts down on how much code is actually there. And then two, like if you made an error, you have to make a change. You don't have to change it like eight times, right? So imagine that I had a quiz with eight questions and I made a mistake somewhere in, in this code and I had pasted it eight times. I'm gonna have to change every single location, right? Which is a giant pain in the butt, okay? So what I would do here is I would make a method, right? That basically is this code, okay? So I've got it repeated twice and I'm just gonna copy one version of it, actually cut it out and I'm just gonna call a method i'm going to call it present question okay so it's going to take in a question object all right and then i'm going to do the same thing down here where i'm going to do present question and i'm going to call it for question two so that i don't need this code anymore june okay so i've copied my code all right and then I'm going to make the method. So I'm going to make it public. I think it can be void. I don't need to return anything. And I'm going to do present question. Okay. Then I'm going to paste it down there. Oh, and I'm going to take in a question. All right. That's the question that I want to present. All right. And I want to pause and see if you can kind of um, figure out how to fix this. To make it work right so obviously i gotta tweak it a little bit um but pause and, and give it your best shot before continuing all right so let's start with some basics um this should be called question now so i'm just going to replace it with the question that's being passed into the method so it's a different question each time scanner um since i need to use scanner here we could either pass it in or make it global um and I don't know, that's really a preference choice for you. Um, maybe I'll just make it global to make it simple. I don't know if that's probably actually not the right choice. I think if you do that, you need to add static. You should probably pass it in, but I think we can get away with it that way. So now scanner is okay. All right. Uh, and so everything else looks good, uh, except this is complaining now. So let's see what it's saying here. Oh, so, oh, I need to make the method static then. Hmm. I'm liking this choice less and less. Okay, so let's see if that still works. It's now the code's a lot shorter. I'm just making the questions and presenting them in a method. And this will be helpful because you got to make more questions later on. So doing it this way will be helpful. But let's still see if it works. Okay, I got that right, and let's try Schultzenberger again. All right, so the final change I want to make then is it's not clear here if they should type in the, the word or the letter. Okay, so I'm going to go into multiple choice question, right, because it, it's something that if I think about the hierarchy, I only want to tell them to enter, enter A, B, C, or D if it's a multiple choice question, not question. So I'm going to go to the display or the display question method in multiple choice question. So I'm going to go to display question, and after I do the choices here, I'm going to do another sysout that says, please enter A, B, C, or D. All right. So now let's run it again, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, and now I have a thing that says, please enter A, B, C, or D, and I'm going to enter D, get it wrong, right? And then it tells me my feedback. Okay, so that's kind of minor, but I think it is going to be a little bit better if we, we make it as clear as we can for the user. All right, 
that is all. Uh, thank you for watching. Oh, actually, I thought of one more thing, actually. The other change I would possibly make is this, like, I'm trying to make this a functional quiz, blah, 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 here, is, like, if they enter lowercase c, that's actually the right answer, but it, it bongs out. It's not great, I'm saying I, I got it wrong, all right? So actually pause and see if you can figure out where to make the change and how to make the change. All right, and so this has to do with the method that does uh, check answer. Okay, so I'm going to go into question, and then we have it just equals. And so I'm going to do equals ignore case. Okay, so that it'll take it even if it doesn't have the right case. So now let's try running it again. So now I can do Aaron Rogers, even spelled lowercase, and it should work. See that it did get it right. Okay, and then I'm going to enter lowercase c, and it still says I got it right. So, um, just a couple changes, trying to make it as functional as possible and as user-friendly as possible. All right, that is it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you've got, at the end of the day, you've got the quiz running and at least two questions working, a multiple choice and a regular question.